please silence all cell phones and sit back, relax, and enjoy the magnificent play on the Civil War nurses and amputations. Some scenes may be disturbing for younger children. Let's give a big round of applause for Clara Barton. Woo! Yay! Most of you may think that all the women's jobs during the Civil War were working in hospitals as nurses. I, Clara Barton, followed the Union armies into battle. I tended the troops wherever they fell. I can vaguely remember giving so many amputations on people with any broken bones or any major blood vessel torn. I will be taking you on my journey of the longest, toughest day of the Civil War for me. Pew, pew, bow, 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 bow. I see him, over there. He has four mini balls in his legs, two in the right and two in the left. When he comes into the ambulance, we will examine him. Is that okay, doctor? Yes. We must try to find as many clean cloths as we can, also with the sponges. If we don't have enough clean ones, we must dunk them in the cool water and then use them from there. In the wagon ambulance, it was tiny, messy, and lumpy. They were made for transporting the sick and injured soldiers. It seated at most 18 with four outside in the front and 14 of us on the inside. Our seats could turn into beds for one, two, even three soldiers to lay on. There would always be nurses, doctors, surgeons, and tools to do quick and simple things. This may include things such as patching up a small area of skin with stitches to just cleaning off the blood on someone's face. Ready? One, two, three, lift. Place them on the operating table, please. I will get out the bone saw because I examined him on our way here to the field hospital. He broke his fibula on the right and the patella on the left. I figured that we can try to save his fibula. Come on, Clara. I need that bone saw immediately. Get me the bone saw. Quick, I will need to save this young man's legs. I can try to do this in about 10 minutes because we there are many other soldiers in need. We don't have enough time, energy, and help to make this truly successful. I had to give Surgeon James a break because he has had been working on the operating table for hours upon hours. The days in the field were exhausting and felt like they were a hundred hours long. If a soldier came in with a torn blood vessel or a broken bone, it usually led to an amputation. This was because we didn't understand infection. Therefore, we didn't do anything to prevent it. Also, we didn't have antibiotics or any kind of medicine to give the soldiers, so we just had to go the simplest way out, which was for us, amputation. Because of this, wounds could easily become infected within no time. The tools we had weren't advanced like they are today. We as doctors and nurses had to think quick on our feet. Twice as many men died from disease than of gunshot wounds. Some diseases included dysentery, measles, smallpox, pneumonia, malaria, and pemia, which means pus and blood. Now, we must start. I need all the cloths and sponges to clean the fresh wound. Clara, please come look for the mini balls in his leg and any other materials. I found all four inside. Watch out, Clara. There's a mini ball coming right at you. You saved my life, Doctor. Now we must carry on with the amputation. Yes. Now, I don't think you would want to look at this. This part may be disturbing to some younger children, so supervision is advised. Give me the bone saw quickly before he bleeds out everywhere. That is what I chose to remember of one of the longest, toughest days of my life. Nobody should have to go through what I went through on that day. Now, let's give a big round of applause for all of our actors. Woo! Yeah, thank, you, thank you, thank you. Now, Let's give a special thank you and applause for Clara Barton. Thank Woo! you.